So you just got that email or audition notification and you've got a big audition coming up. We're gonna cover what you can expect when you get in the room. I'm Cody Dorkin, owner of Studio 24, one of the largest TV and film acting studios in California. I worked in LA as an actor for over 15 years, working on over 100 TV shows and movies. At Studio 24, we help aspiring actors gain the knowledge, the tools, and the skill they need to make acting their career. Get ready. We're turning your dreams into reality right now. Okay, so you just got the big audition that you've been waiting for. What can you expect? Most likely, in that audition notification, you will have received a, a few items that are gonna help you prepare for that audition. One, they're gonna attach sides to the audition. The sides are um, what they have pulled from the script that they are going to use as the audition material. That could be a page, that could be a single line of dialogue, um, or that could be several scenes, maybe six to eight pages. Um, for a theatrical audition. In addition to receiving the sides, more likely than not, you are going to receive a character breakdown. And that's gonna be a description of your character and how they fit into the story that we're trying to tell here. There might be a storyline as well to kind of give you some situational awareness with everything. In addition to that, they're gonna tell you where to go and when to show up. Now, once you actually get to the audition, I would definitely recommend arriving early. Not arriving early, like going into their office and sitting there for an hour, but get there early, probably an hour early, and just be in your car. That's gonna be a time where you can kind of calm down a little bit, go over your material, know and see the door that you're gonna be walking into so that we can kind of start to calm everything down before we actually walk in there. Then about 15 minutes prior to your audition, then go ahead and head in and sign in. Uh, generally, they're going to be calling actors into the room in the order that they are signed in. If not, sometimes they go off of your call time, so be prepared for either one of those. In the actual audition room when they call you in for a first call or what would be like a pre-read or first audition, sometimes it'll just be the casting director in there. Sometimes it's gonna be a casting associate. Sometimes they'll put it on, on tape, sometimes they won't. Generally for like a film audition, it will be put on tape because they're gonna wanna review those tapes and put them up against each other. Uh, they start at the top and the leads and they start to cast down from there. For episodic, generally things move so fast that a lot of times they don't have time to record. Um, within one week, two weeks, they could cast an entire episode and so it can just move a lot quicker. In a callback scenario, you're probably gonna have a director and maybe producers that are there in, in that particular session. If it goes to a second callback or a network call or screen test, sometimes you can have up to 25 people in that room and that's where uh, the nerves are probably gonna be the highest because um, it's all the most important people in that room watching your final audition. When they get into the material, back into the process, um, they generally, if it is on tape, they're gonna have you do a slate at the top of that. Uh, that information could include your, your name, agent, height, uh, where you're located, and sometimes they wanna know that stuff for local hire purposes. And then from there, they're gonna go right into the material. You're gonna slate directly to camera, just like I am now, and then you would shift over and read with the reader. And you go through each scene. Most likely, if we get through that, they're probably not gonna say anything, but thanks for coming in, and you're gonna walk out the room, and, and that's gonna be the end of it. If it goes further than that, they might give you a redirect on a particular scene or have you do an additional scene in the audition room. So just be prepared to take that feedback and really kind of digest it and think about it before going into that next take. Occasionally, they might have, you might have your resume or they might have it already printed out, and they might actually ask you some questions off of that, like, oh, you worked on this project, you know, how was that? Yeah, I know the director and blah, 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 and there'll be a little bit of chit chat there with that. Most likely that's probably not gonna happen in a first call, so you can almost just expect to go in there uh, without a ton of chit chat, get right into the material, and when that material is over, basically you're on your way out at that point in time. I wouldn't try to uh, get into any conversation with the casting directors. They really don't have time for it at that point in time, and it's really not the time or place to do that at a first initial uh, audition or pre-read. If you get into a callback, they may, they may be more friendly, they may talk to you a little bit more, and that may increase as you get further in the casting process, 
But for the first audition, I would plan on just having no chit chat at all. Go in there, do your best, and then go on out. If you get a call back, they'll let you uh, know. That's really what you can expect for an in-person audition. Most of them are gonna go exactly like that. So there's really no surprises that they're gonna hit you with in the audition situation. Most auditions today are actually self-tapes for the first initial call or the pre-read. And that means that you are at home gonna be putting that tape um, on yourself and doing that audition and emailing that in. And so if you guys don't know how to put one of those together uh, yet, you can check out our other video on self-tapes. Let us know how your auditions have been going or if something surprised you in an audition, comment below. For more tips on auditions or anything acting career related, visit us at studio24.com and head to our blog. See you guys.